Hello and welcome to this course covering AWS CloudTrail. CloudTrail is one of the services that falls under the Management Tools categorization within the AWS console. Throughout this course, I shall explain what the service is, what it does and how it operates, along with its interaction with other AWS services. AWS CloudTrail is a powerful service that is used to track, audit and monitor all API requests made in your AWS account making it an effective security analysis tool and so it's worth understanding exactly what it is and what it can do. Before we start, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Stuart Scott, I'm one of the trainers here at Cloud Academy, specialising in AWS, Amazon Web Services. Feel free to contact me with any questions using the details shown on the screen. Alternatively, you can always get in touch with us here at Cloud Academy using the community forum where one of our cloud experts will reply to your question. This course has been designed for an audience who have an active role in managing AWS security, such as a security consultant, security architect, security auditor, etc. Also, if you have a general interest in security, or perhaps you are studying for an AWS certification that requires knowledge of AWS CloudTrail, then this course will certainly be of benefit to you as well. In this course, I will cover a range of topics, including what is AWS CloudTrail? In this lecture, I will explain what CloudTrail is and does and give examples of how the service can be used for a number of different use cases. How does CloudTrail work? In this section, I'll talk about CloudTrail and its components and elements, and we'll discuss how they all link together to create the service. Understanding CloudTrail permissions. In this lecture, we'll talk about permissions for both read and write access, and also we'll touch on some IAM policies and S3 bucket policies here as well. Understanding trails. In this section, we'll define what a trail is and we'll go into the configuration components and I'll give a demonstration of how to create a trail here too. Insight into CloudTrail logs. Logs are a huge part of CloudTrail, it's the output of the service itself. So we'll dive into what logs are and what you can do with them and how to share logs within your own account and across other accounts as well. And then finally, we'll look at monitoring with CloudTrail. Here we'll look at how CloudTrail interacts with AWS CloudWatch and how to set up monitoring for specific API calls, etc. As a student of this course, you will have a full understanding of the AWS CloudTrail service and how it interacts with other AWS services, allowing you to implement CloudTrail effectively, ensuring it fulfills your business requirements. You will have the knowledge to confidently configure trails for your AWS account, whilst at the same time applying the correct level of encryption and access control against your sensitive log files. In addition to this, you will be able to combine CloudTrail with CloudWatch to implement a monitoring solution for your API calls if required. Prerequisites for this course include a basic understanding of the following AWS services. Simple storage service, so S3, Identity and Access Management, specifically around policies, AWS CloudWatch, Simple Notification Service, SNS, and the Key Management Service, KMS. Your feedback on Cloud Academy courses are valuable to us as trainers and any students looking to take the same course in the future. If you have any feedback, positive or negative, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use the comment section found on the landing page of this course. That brings us to the end of this first lecture. Coming up next, I will introduce you to AWS CloudTrail with an explanation of what it is and what it can do.